Hello and welcome back to the course on Power BI. In today's tutorial, we're going to tidy up our visualization and we're going to add another chart to finalize everything. All right, so let's get started. We're going to duplicate this page and we're going to call it page four. All right, uh, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to add the extra chart. And I was kind of like playing around with it and thinking which one to add. And I decided that we're going to add a donut chart. All right, there's our donut chart. And so what are we going to display on this donut chart? So first of all, let's uh, move these a bit to the left. All right, so what are we going to display on this donut chart? Um, we're going to, like a donut chart is like the same thing as a pie chart. It just <laughs> doesn't have this middle part. It just has a hole in the middle of the pie. So we need a uh, category and a numeric value. So for um, the numeric value, let's take profit. And for the category, let's take order date. So you can really take anything like, like right now, it's telling you uh, how the profit split split by different years, but you can take anything for the category if you like, uh, you could take segment, and just take order date out, right? Or you, you could just replace it here. Um, you could take a state, but then there'd be way too many of them on the donut chart or yeah, so there's quite a lot of things that you can choose. Uh, here you've got your actual category from the second table. So there's a lot of things you can choose from, I'm just going to take order date. Uh, because that way, I can quickly tell um, which year was most powerful, I'm not even going to drill down. So you could drill down in quarters like this. So remember this drilling, it gives us the quarters regardless of the year. So then uh, there's still a few of them. If you go like this, and there's way too many quarters, right? So again, way too many months. But if you drill down like this, you know, even with the months, there there's only 12 of them, even though we have uh, three different years, 2011, 12, 13, 14, actually four years. So even though we have lots of years, we only have uh, several months. So this is another example of when uh, drilling down uh, without preserving the higher level in your hierarchy can be useful. So if you want to look at just quarters, you might drill down like this. And then when you switch over, you can tell in which region, which quarters are most profitable overall, despite the year, but we're going to keep it at year level like that. Okay, so that's the chart we wanted to add. And how do we now tidy everything up to make it look fantastic. And this is actually a a skill in its own something that you you develop with time and something that uh, you really need to focus on to practice and it like, for me, it takes time to understand for each individual dashboard what how it will look like the best. And uh, so I'm not just making this up right now. As we go, I practiced this a little bit before it took me, maybe I don't know 20 minutes to figure it out. But I think, I think the way I like this dashboard is I'm just going to show you now. Um, so if we put this down here, right? Um, and then if we zoom in a little bit, let's see, I can't zoom in more. So zoom in like that. And maybe like leave it that's uh, about that size. Then uh, this this chart goes at the top. And uh, maybe takes a bit more space. This one goes here. This one goes here. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I know it's a bit, it's a bit difficult with them floating all over the place. But with patience, you can get it sorted out pretty nicely. So maybe like that. A bit higher. There we go. And actually, maybe back, let's put it back a bit. Uh huh. All right, there we go. So we're pretty much done. Uh, just maybe a bit higher this one. So they're all kind of lined up. Uh -huh. All right, so that's good. Um, the other thing that I'd like to change here is just kind of like fix up the titles and stuff like that. So so that you can see it already looks better. So let's go here. And we're going to click the uh, color, and we'll drop down the title and change this to a 12. So that it's consistent uh, title and change this to a 12. Um, then here, oh, let's go this one first, title and change this to a 12 as well. You can actually change the title text if you like. I'm just going to keep this one. Um, then the other thing here is this kind of looks alienated when you 
don't have any boxes on it this looks like a bit empty so we're going to add um, it's up to you you can either add a background so you can add a background and for instance something like like that so it's it's easy to spot that it's a control or uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to a border I'm going to add a border but I'm not going to make it as dark I'm going to make it a bit lighter there we go and now even when it's unchecked you can see that something's going on there and it's inviting the user to click it okay so let's save and what else oh so now um, like you can see it's jumping around you can see the profits changing and you can change the years right so um, again everything's changing uh, the only thing that I would adjust as well is like now in this layout um, I don't know like depending on what you feel like remember this chart we fixed uh, the we fixed the X and Y axis so that it doesn't change um, let's have a look at what it'll look like if we undo that um, let's have a look this chart so X axis and click enter click enter click enter so let's have a look um, it's a bit more zoomed in so it depends on it depends on your preference and what your goal is if you want to compare uh, side by side and you want to actually have it locked then you might want to like have it locked so that you can uh, compare different regions and different uh, time periods uh, without it changing then you might have it locked if you want to actually just uh, drill in further so you can see better when you go into like central you want to understand what's going on in central and you don't really uh, you don't really focus on comparing the different regions side by side you just you just want to get into uh, this one and you want to like look at what's going on so you want a better view you want to be zoomed in then you want to you might want to keep it like that so it's totally up to you how you'd like to do it um, and that pretty much brings us to the end as you can see the dashboard is much more friendlier now than what we had here so this is what we had before like it, this is functional and you can get insights but then when you just put your mind to it and you you know that you've got a finished product you just want to make it really pretty it takes some time but eventually as you can see this one looks much better all right so hopefully you enjoyed today's tutorial and i look forward to seeing you on the next one until then happy analyzing